Hey guys, what's up? Derby Dog here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to strip your derby car. At least the way I do it. Um, some may just take a hammer and smash the crap out of it. I'm one of those people who take the time and the tools to get them out. Sometimes if I get pissed I will smash it out, but that's besides the point. Um, because it is just after everything a derby car. It's a good learning tool too. So. I think I'm going to keep that in there. I just had a sneeze. I might keep that in there. Just to, just for uh, some giggles. But Anyway, what I'm going to be taking out today are the headlights. These chrome, uh, chrome pieces. And this front bumper here. And the fog lights. I've actually never had to take out fog lights before. So that will be a little interesting. Um, I might take out some stuff under the hood. But I might save that for tomorrow um, I'm gonna be taking off the back bumper today and the rear tail light assembly um, but not much more than that I might do a, a whole separate video for the real rear tail light assembly just because of the fact that it does uh, that a lot of people do watch those videos of how to take out a uh, tail light assembly on these cars so we'll have to see what I do about that but let me get working. I'll set you guys on the tripod. I'm not going to do a time lapse, but I'm just going to be going in and out as I'm stripping the car. So, all right, well, see you guys whenever. I forgot to mention what tools you're going to need for this job. So, I usually get this clip um, slash like pry bar kind of thing uh, to get out the clips. I usually get this to help pull out the clips with it. We're going to need a Phillips head. A lot of these screws on this car are actually Phillips. Phillips head. And of course you're going to need a ratchet set. Uh, this is my ratchet set just to let you guys know. Pretty nice ratchet set. Uh, I strongly recommend it. It's an interesting set because it's actually different than most. Um, very unique. So let's get to it. Okay, so uh, got the other side pretty much out, so it looks like now. Um, so I'm going to be showing, telling you guys how to take these out. So these are two 10 millimeters, and then you got a clip down here, which is kind of a pain to get out, and then a clip down here, and then the headlight just slides right out. You undo. These actually, you could undo these while it's in here, which is always nice because that just allows you to replace the light bulbs uh, without having to take out the headlight itself. But uh, I have to take out the headlight anyway. So, all right, and these this fog light I almost forgot. I just broke the chrome trimming off because these Phillips are way too rusted in. Um, so if they're cleaner on yours. You could smash them or take them out, whatever. And these are held in by two Phillips heads as well. Uh, and these are actually not fog lights. I just realized what they were. Uh, they're actually turn signals. So turn signals are held in by two Phillips heads. And if they're rusted, they're going to be kind of a pain, but they come out eventually. So, all right, back to work. Now I have both headlights out and the turn signals too and those trimmings. And now we're going to be taking off the front bumper. Um, so here we have some very rusty Phillips heads holds in the bumper here. I believe there are also bolts that hold them in here. I'll have to check that out. But uh, I'm going to be taking out all this right here. I'll point the camera in the direction of the dummy. Um, be taking that all out and uh, hopefully this bumper will come off relatively easy I doubt it but it's the same way on both sides I do think there is uh, something holding on that um, bumper I don't know if you guys could see it in there but um 
under here I think there is something holding it on so I'll have to check that out all right be right back now well, there it is the bumper covers now off I got the uh, the plastic off of the bumper and that's now what it looks like looks a lot different than it used to that's for sure making quite a bit of progress here um, I didn't show you guys this yet um, I actually changed the motor mounts on this thing and I know they're not pretty they're definitely not pretty but they're gonna hold better than the, probably those uh, dog bones would have um, these are actually the motor mounts from the century and I knew someday I might have to use them again so and here we are luckily I kept them and uh, I've determined that the only way to take off this front bumper piece is to rip it off honestly it's not worth going through trouble especially on a rusty car clean cars might be all right but like on a rusty car like the bolts are rusted you ought to just rip it off because it's it's such a pain to get one of these off it really is so um, so I definitely recommend ripping it off um, and I did this all of this without uh, cutting any wires uh, didn't have to cut any wires it was relatively simple just a little bit time-consuming that's all um, and we're gonna be getting rid of this front bumper here it's a little bit too thin for the front of this W body um, if anybody knows these bumpers they like to shove right into the right they like to bend like right here or right here or even in the middle here um, and V in and, the, and destroy the radiator and everything so we're not gonna be keeping this this bumper um, we're going to be getting another bumper, but I already showed you guys which bumper is going to go on this thing. So, um, well, if you guys remember, I have uh, those Ford bumpers, and that's what's going to go on this thing. All right, well, that's pretty much been the front end stripping of this thing, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.